All right, everybody. We're gonna finally find out if Raziel is as broken as it looks, which I personally don't think it is so far. So we just got the latest support for Divine Z, which is our main, uh, I guess you could say mascot or protagonist card for this set, which is Raziel. So Raziel is our protagonist ace, and we already kind of got a snippet in anime of how the divine skill works, but we got the full skill as of today. So we're just kind of kind of go over it, talk about the support cards and what it's kind of looking like with the divines meta and where we're going with this. So in the last video, we talked about Wellstra and how I didn't really think divine skill was going to get to this like broken point where the skills were going to be meta shifting or overpowering and Wellstra seemed kind of tame. Raziel's is a little different. It's, it's actually kind of spicy, but not in the way where it's like, wow, this is broken, but it's kind of like, if this works, it's hilarious. So I'm really excited about the skill also as a Kedish Sanctuary user. So like, I'm probably gonna have a lot of fun with this card. So let's just jump right into it. Faded One of Miracles, Raziel. So its first skill is auto. When it attacks a Vanguard, you counter blast one. Choose up to two cards of different grades from your drop. Total grades has to be less than or equal to the number of cards in your damage zone. And then you call them to rear. So unfortunately they have to be different grades, which means you can't call two grade twos when you're at four damage. Just, I don't know, interesting choice, but uh, you can still obviously call a three and a two when you're at five. Uh, when you're at four, you're just gonna call, probably a column, a two and a one. I don't even really understand. Maybe it's just to make it less multi-attacky. I don't know. There's some balancing with this, I'm, I'm sure, but you get pushed to five, you deserve multi-attack, I guess is, is the moral here. Um, but let's just jump into the meat of the card, which is the divine skill. There's a pretty good chunk of text with what this card does. So it's divine skill, act, Soul Blast 1, return all of your criticals in your drop zone uh, to your deck and shuffle it. This gets drive plus one until the end of the turn. So you get triple drive and you have a higher chance of getting crits depending on how long you waited to use the divine skill. So this is actually one of those divine skills where if you decide to hold off and use it, you know, your second go around after your persona ride, might be a little better to have that extra drive with that power and shoving all those crits back into your deck. The Follow-up skill is until the end of the fight, again, this is part of the same divine skill, until the end of the fight, you cannot write a card without Raziel in its name. And when a trigger unit other than a heal is revealed for your damage track, if you have five or more cards in your damage zone, you choose a card from your damage zone, heal it, and then you lose this ability for the rest of the fight. So divine skills can only be used a total of once per fight. This is also including shared amongst your other cards as well. The fact that you can heal out of a six damage heal with any trigger, considering that you already have OT, meaning that you went from having five heals, you now have 16 heals in your deck for miracle heals, which is really cool. I actually really like this idea just because um, you are clearly just activating the divine skill as kind of like, a, I'm gonna bank on the chance that I can just kind of sneak my way back into this game. Um, just by doing kind of some mediocre multi-attacking and then just surviving one extra hit just so I can come back the next turn and beat face. So I, I really like this card effect and I don't really think it's broken, but I do think it's gonna be really annoying when it does go off. Um, the odds, essentially, that so now that we have an increased number of cards in the main deck, the odds of seeing a damage trigger exactly at the six damage or a little less, especially as the game goes on and you start, you know, going through stuff. There's no searching the deck from this card, so there's no thinning. You'd have to use other, you know, deck searching cards from your main deck as rear guards to get through it. So I think overall Raziel seems pretty decent. Um, but let's just go ahead and talk about the support cards that we also got. So we'll quickly jump into the ride line. So we got our grade zero, which is Soo, which is just like every other a uh, standard starter just lets you draw if you want second. The grade one, Patrol of Gus, Ventesta. When this unit is rode upon by Knight of Great Advance, Ascensior, call this to Rearguard Circle and Soul Charge one. Then Continuous, during your turn, if you have a grade three or greater Vanguard Razi on its name, it gets 2K. So a little 10K booster and you get a free unit and a free Soul Charge, which is actually really cool. Then for the grade two, we got Knight of Great Advance, Ascensior. So another advance in the censorship. 
Uh, auto, when this is wrote upon by a grade three with Raziel in its name, you choose a grade two or less from drop and call to rear. So more revival skills, which is interesting because you would, you know, it kind of makes sense for Angel Feather to be a like revival themed deck. Um, so it's kind of interesting that they're picking up these like angel themed or angel aesthetics and kind of incorporating like resurrection into the card design. So I, I like it a lot. And obviously getting a free board is nice. So that was it for the ride line support. We also got some pretty cool rear guards. So we're going to start with the grade three that was revealed. Gigantic Masher. Continuous, if your unit was placed by the ability of your Vanguard with Raziel in its card name, this gets 15k. That's a pretty, pretty big, beefy beat stick. A 28k beater just by using your Vanguard skill. That's actually really good. Um, I don't really know if people are going to go through and use this card. I, I think 28k is kind of worth it. Next support card is Aerial Sage. Uh, during your turn, continuous, uh, or sorry, during the battle that's boosted, if you have a grade three or greater Vanguard Razio on its name, this gets 5k. So that's implying that, um, you know, since it's a continuous effect, it's not going to stack if this bolt boosts multiple times somehow. So that 5k is just constant. And then when this boosts a grade three or greater Vanguard with Razio on its name, you can discard a card from your hand, counter charge one, and it gets 2k till the end of the battle. So little 15k booster which is pretty cool so triple drive boosting with a 15k boost you know adding crits back into your deck this is kind of like a big old beefy vanguard swing which actually can potentially win you the game you know there are those games where you just your opponent doesn't have a pg doesn't have enough guard to take you know to warrant guarding your vanguard um and the counter charge is nice counter charge is always helpful in any deck uh, as a double r i can definitely see players running a few copies of this card just for that counter card counter charge <laughs> um yeah this is a pretty good card i would i would give this probably like four out of five stars just just for the counter charge alone lastly for support cards we have knight of gentle beauty nobia this is a triple r from the faded clash set or the uh yeah this is the triple r from the next set it's when this is placed on rearguard circle, if you have a grade three or greater Vanguard Raziel in its card name, you counterblast one, look at the top three cards of your deck, choose up to one grade three or less card, call it to the rearguard circle. The rest go to your bottom of your deck. If it is during the battle phase, you just reveal the card and add it to your hand instead. Then its second ability is auto. When this attacks a grade three or greater Vanguard or grade three or greater unit, if you have a Vanguard Raziel in its name, you soul blast one and it gets an additional 10K power. This card is definitely going to be a four of. I, I can't really see why you wouldn't want to run this card, uh, just considering the fact that you can build a board really easily with it. Uh, it looks through the deck with the top three. It's it's an Aglavail for Raziel. It, it's just a really, really good card. And on top of that, it lets you get an extra 10K for a Soul Blast. So as you're kind of going through the deck and fill up your soul, um, you probably want to take advantage of all those soul charging cards that you have, uh, like Drilling Angel, the Grade 1, and the Ride Line. These are going to be cards that are going to be really helpful to fill that soul so you can keep using that Soul Blast, get an extra 10k. It's going to be really, really good. I do like that you can also just use the card during the battle phase when you call it a Razio skill, look at the top three, and you can just grab a perfect guard and put it into your hand because it's a Grade 3 or less. So that it's really good defensively as well. I can see this card being very, very useful. Um, so maybe you probably want to run four of that counter charger just so you can keep using this card effect, uh, especially since Razio is going to be helping you bring back more cards with its effect. Overall, the whole mechanic of Razio seems really, really interesting. I really like the revive from the drop zone effect. I know Grand Blue and Zorga were doing it first, but I really like this idea of uh, a resurrection theme in Keter Sanctuary. Also love the multi-attack, I love the power, and the divine skill is hilarious. I love that you can just heal out of a six damage with any trigger. I don't think it's really broken because it still relies on luck, and it's not like a guarantee, oh, I lose at seven damage kind of thing. It's, it's, it's you know, you're taking a gamble. Um, and I do like that the divine skill at least helps you put triggers back into your deck so it's still like, a really good skill you can save 
you know, checking, you know, triple driving crits is still a really good thing to work with, especially to increasing chances for triggers. And depending on which over trigger you're running, you know, that's could be nine potential criticals you're working with for, you know, powering up your rear guards. Again, depends on which OT you're using. So there's gonna be a lot of playing around with this deck. My last bit of thoughts on this whole divine skill thing is that I kind of still want to see where we're going with the other divine skills. The Dragon Empire one looks like uh, a triple restand, meaning that the main card effect restands itself and the divine skill stands it again. So that's gonna be an interesting card to read and see the full skill for. Hopefully we'll see it next week or maybe this Friday. For now, I would say I'm actually really looking forward to Raziel and I think it's gonna be really fun for everyone to start using divine skills in tournaments. So it's it's starting to look up. The other thing that's really cool, uh, Bush revealed, is the Seeker Rare alt arts. So we're getting uh, alt arts. I'm assuming it's gonna be for all six of the divine skill cards. Uh, they're gonna have like a ordered texture design with the faded symbol, like the divine skill symbol on the top right corner, which is really cool. And the color scheme is gonna be based on what nation they're from. I really like these card designs. I really like how it worked. Uh, I was really kind of hoping that they were gonna give us like a big old giant hot stamp on the card, kind of like what it looks like in the anime. There's that big old symbol, just boom, right on the card. I think it would be really cool if it just had that symbol right there on the card. Just huge instead of just in the top right corner. That's pretty much it for the Raziel stuff. I also did want to bring up the announcement that they had for the Festival Booster. We're getting some pretty decent reprints. We're getting the Sapien Owl. We're getting the Grade 1 that helps you Superior Ride in the Seraph Pure Light. Uh, that one Grade 2 that's really good for Chrono Jet. Uh, the Leanorn uh, Dragon uh, thing that has boost and some other really good stealth support and lyrical support little auto girls getting another reprint so these cards are coming back I, again this is the japanese version we don't know if the en version is going to change anything but so far these are actually not bad reprints i think it's good to kind of keep some of these older cards in circulation what's really really cool is we're going to announce some new order cards that are going to be Nationless, so kind of like elemental support, kind of similar to Elementaria. It looks like we're getting, one of them has a shield on it. I'm assuming that has to be a Blitz Order. And the other one has a sword. So I'm wondering what what these are gonna be. We're also getting two kinds of over triggers. Yes, we're still getting new over triggers. That's not going away. And they're gonna be nationless, kind of similar to the, um, the red and the blue one from the last festival booster. So. We're getting more over triggers. There are more nationless ones, so everyone has full access to them and more what looks like to be potential shields and this other sword looking thing, which looks pretty cool. So, so that pretty much summarizes uh, all the fun stuff that we got from today's live stream. So overall, Raziel looks fun. Um, the card support seems pretty simple, nothing broken or overpowered about any of it. And Festival Booster, um, looks enticing just to see what the new cards do. But with that, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what your thoughts on Raziel is, if you're looking forward to uh, the Divine Skill cards coming up, the Dragon Empire one, the ones for, you know, Zorga, and the Lyrical card whose name I'm forgetting, the Dark States one, which we're gonna be getting in the following set after this. So let me know what you guys think so far about the card support. And with that, my name is Richard, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.